Hey, everybody, this is Birch. Um, this, this feels like a topic that's going to get misunderstood, but let's, let's give it a shot. All right. Reading from the mail. The mail says, uh, hey, there, Perch. Literally, it says, hey, you there, Perch, which I, I like that. It's very charming. Hey, you there, Perch. Hey, you there, you. That's, that's, that's what I would say. Anyway, um, two questions. First, tell us something you haven't said before on the show about yourself. We're all trying to figure out who you are. That Thanks. Thank, thank you for that. All right. Something about myself that I haven't said on the show. I don't think I've said this before. Um, I used to live in Japan for, for a decent amount of time. And uh, I have uh, done a decent amount of karaoke. Like a lot of karaoke. It's one of the ways that uh, business gets done there. And uh, last time I was over in Japan, I did a bunch of karaoke to the weekend. And, you know, I'm, I'm not terrible. I'm not good. I mean, I'm karaoke good. Which means you're not good, but you're karaoke. Yeah, I've done a lot of karaoke. So, believe it or not, yes, this guy has been in a bar full of a bunch of Japanese people doing karaoke till four in the morning, and I, I honestly enjoy it. Okay, uh, there you go. Back to the email. Um, my real question about comics is this. Um, what is the point of having so many gay and lesbian characters in comics if it never really amounts to anything. Let me explain. When I say never amounts to anything, I mean there are no real stories involving gay relationships, but rather the characters become gay or lesbian in usually an anthology, and then nothing. There's no follow-up. There's no exploration of what makes these characters tick, and it really doesn't seem to matter. Half the time, I expect these characters will show back up in 10 years and will have forgotten that they're gay until somebody on Twitter reminds the writer of this and then they've got to shoehorn in another moment. But none of it really seems to matter. For that matter, sorry, <clears throat> for that matter, most of the relationships, heterosexual or homosexual, have no real bearing on comics whatsoever. When was the last time? Okay, this is a little crude. When was the last time the when was the last time the fact that Reed and Sue like to go to Pound Town was ever referenced in the comics? Yikes. Uh, just curious about your opinion on this. All right. Well, first off, um, I don't know, as a longtime comic reader, I don't really want to have a lot of storylines involving Reed and Sue going to Pound Town. I I don't does anybody want that? I don't think anybody. Actually, and that's kind of the whole point. Um, I don't. I don't think anybody wants any of this. Um, no matter what, no matter whether you're you're part of the LGBTQ community or you're cis or what, whatever the. I hate that term, by the way. I just whatever you are, whatever you're into. I don't think that's what anybody who's reading superhero comics really cares about. You know, I made this point in another video uh, a while back. You know, there's a number of apparently uh, transformers that are gay, and I don't know. I, d d does that matter? Like that was really weird to me because, in terms of representation, I I don't really want the transformers representing anything. Like I don't want them representing straight or or gay or anything. Like, do, do who wants that? Literally, I mean, there's some weirdos on the internet for sure who want that, but does anybody want that? Like, like for your enjoyment of Transformers, forget about gay Transformers, because I think that's a bit of a red herring. Did do you want straight Transformers? Why do you want that? Like, do, do you really need like, uh, 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 like I, I, I don't even know. Like, Star screams like, man, I sure like chick. Transformers like that. No, nobody wants this at all. I know there's this Thundercats revival. I haven't read the new comic yet, but I, I mean, you know, there's this. I, I've gotten a bunch of emails saying, you know, they're making gay Thundercats. I don't want straight Thundercats. I don't want any. I don't. I don't want sexuality Thundercats. I don't. I, for that matter, I don't really want Thundercats. Period. But but regardless, I understand some of you do. But I mean, this is not something that I think about. And, and so, uh, in general, overall, um, you know, I, I, I mean, it, you don't, you don't really want any of this at all. 
Like that's not the purpose of most of these characters. But in terms of the um, you know LGBTQ comic characters, I think one of the things that um, is a little broken. I think you're you're referring to in the email, um, and I'm sure let let like let's let's figure out how some people can call me a bigot on this. Um, a lot of these the relationships, a lot of the you know the character comes out is kind of the death of the character, and and. What I mean by that is this. So Gwenpool, remember Gwenpool? Like, like they, they tried to make Gwenpool a thing for like a hot minute. And then uh, Jeremy Whitley makes Gwenpool asexual. She is an ace ally. Okay. But what now? Has anybody seen Gwenpool in the last year? Or to, like, does Gwenpool exist anymore in the Marvel Universe? I don't know. My question is, like, what is the point of bringing the character's sexuality to the forefront if you then bury the character and never talk to the character again? That seems like the opposite of being an ally. That seems like, it literally seems like you're killing off these characters. You know, for that matter, I liked Young Avengers. I liked that title, the original one. I didn't like the Karen Gillan one as much, but that had a lot more to do with the villain and the the you know that the whole thing like I actually read that series I didn't just read the last issue where a number of them came out I read the entire series and it wasn't very good the Karen Gillan series uh, but the original was good and I like those characters and in the original series they reveal pretty early on that Wiccan and Hulkling who may or may not probably are kind of sort of I don't know Scarlet Witch's children that they're gay and they're in a relationship. And here's the thing, it worked. It was actually kind of charming. These characters liked each other, loved each other. They were they were brand new. It was, it was good. I it was it was like uh, Midnighter and Apollo over in the Wildstorm universe, the DC universe. That relationship is a good one. If you read the authority, like that was a good fucking relationship, those two. In many ways, the Midnighter Apollo relationship was the like the stable relationship in the authority. It it was charming. It worked. You liked those characters. You wanted to root for those characters. It was good. But the two couples that I just... Well, actually, not even that. Wiccan and Hulkling, I, I thought was, a, you know, pretty good. Pretty good relationship. It, it worked. And then what's happened as Marvel kind of leaned into it more, like this relationship was brought out. It was brought out fairly normal. They didn't have any kind of weird thing about it. They didn't have a, like a, oh my God, can you believe they're gay? They just, they just said it. And it it was organic and it was natural and it was awesome. I mean, I'm not overselling it. It was it was it just worked. And then um, as time went by, you know, Marvel's like, well, we need to do a special wedding issue, and then we need to have them show up in our anthology. But what's happened is, like, where is that couple now? Do they exist? I mean, of course they do, but you had. The Young Avengers was a popular, well-selling comic. And a lot of people liked those characters. Well, man. Where are they now? Have we seen Wiccan and Hulkling in the last year? When they show up, the only story that they show up for is like, hey, here's this gay couple off in space. He's a king and did like they they don't go on adventures anymore. There are no adventures anymore. I mean, back in the Young Avengers, they they went up against Doctor. Like there was that, uh, not the the Crusade. The um, it's like what was it? They 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 went up against Doctor Doom. They went against Kang. They went up against major Marvel villains back in the day. Today, they do nothing. Those characters are gone. Like you, th that was a good. You like you have a shapeshifter, scroll kind of brute character, and a and a magic wielder like. You could do a lot with that. What, what, where is the, where, where is any adventure at all featuring these characters? And then on top of that, look at the other characters. You know, you have uh, what uh, the the Nadia Pym, I think, is autistic, bisexual, right? Winpool is an is ace. You've got uh, American Chavez, lesbian. You got uh, Novar, uh, who is bisexual. Um, you have like 
you know, you had Al Ewing uh, turn Star Lord, a Star Lord bisexual, which really felt like they were trying to take a jab at Chris Pratt, not actually do something thoughtful. But all of these characters have done what since then? Where is America Chavez? Have we seen her in the last year? Anywhere? Where is uh, Novar? Marvel Boy. Have we seen him in, in the last four or five years? Any of these characters? This is a death sentence for the character. When you, when you bring them out and you do your special kind of pride issue, it seems to end the ability for these characters to have any adventure whatsoever anywhere. Remember, these are superhero comics. The name of the game is Adventure. It is superhero heroics. But there's nothing at all. You know, I, a lot of you who are listening right now, you like to watch videos and you, you, you're into the YouTube community. We're really, we're really up in arms about that, the culture war and all that. But look at these characters. They keep having, they keep creating new gay characters in the Marvel and DC universe. They keep uh, changing the characters. But once they do that, it is the end of their superhero career. They don't show up anymore. What the fuck's up with that? We can't give these characters something to do? Nothing? Like, like they, they, suddenly they can't face any villain? But it's not just that. They don't appear at all. How many of you got you know pissed off and listened to all the videos about Gabby Rivera's America Chavez? Where is she now? She's gone. Marvel's not doing anything with any of these characters. They make new uh they, they make new gay characters who have one adventure, and it's not an adventure, it's a pride story in the anthology, and then they probably vanish. What's the point? I'm just curious. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Thanks for listening. <laughs>